up guys real touch gmail here back with part two of my fighting engine tutorial if you've not seen fight or not fight one video one go ahead and click my channel and go you'll find the video there so where we ended off is we got our pivot sprites and we got our obj player we just set some basic code for him just starting off variables today we'll probably be doing the movement Maybe not all of it, because the movement is kind of. Uh, we might get through it. Okay, so let's let's stop talking. And let's start start going. So first off, we're gonna have him collide with the wall. He's just going to stop. So vert speed equal zero in the move tab. Not the wall. I'll call it the floor from now on. Okay. All right. So if we go ahead and put him in the room, next off we need to create gravity since it is a platformer. So in the step event, we're going to check empty y1 relative. So if he is not on the ground, gravity is going to be set to 270, 0 0.5. You can do whatever gravity amount you want. I like 0 0.5. Else, gravity 270 or direction 270, gravity 0. So this means if he is not on the ground, gravity will be set to 0 0.5. If he is on the ground, gravity will be set to 0. So, okay? <clears throat> so he's not getting pushed down through the floor. You could also have a max speed drop. If you don't know what I mean by that, you can go into variable and we can do V speed is larger than, we'll say, 10. Then his vertical speed will be 10. So we can never go larger than 10 pixels fast. Yeah. So if we go ahead and test out the game, he should go ahead and just stop right on the floor. Yep, and it works. Now, uh, you see, you might not have this in yours, but my guy, I made him bob a little bit. And he just looks like he's having a spaz attack. So in the create event, we can easily fix that by typing image speed equals 0 0.3. You can set it to whatever you'd like. I like 0 0.3 for my animation. Your animation may be different. You may need a lower speed. You may need a higher speed. It's all up to you and what you think looks good. So now we're going to add him, uh, add the walking back and forth. So we're going to do keyboard, right. Now usually in my last tutorials, maybe not if you saw the H direction, we are not going to use step event, but you might have me see, you might have seen me in the base tutorials do move fixed, right. Now this will work, but when we start adding jump into this, you won't be able to diagonally jump, which is a problem. It's going to be very choppy, very bad. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to check empty. This might be mixed up. I'm five relative. So if five pixels ahead, if there's nothing there, he's going to jump to position five relative. So you're gonna jump five pixels over from rel relative of where his location is. Right click, duplicate, keyboard left, and we're just going to set this to a negative. If we go ahead and run the game now, he should go back and forth. Yep, as you can see, it works. Um, yeah, this won't really look very good in your game. If you want this, if he's like a some hover dude that, I don't know, just some hover dude, this might be good. I have a running animation, as you can see. So I'm going to have him run when he walks. So keyboard right, change sprite, run R, which means right. And then you're going to put image index 0 0.3 or 5 or whatever you want. So do the same thing to the left, except you're going to do uh, run left, image index 0 0.5. There we go. 
you should now run. This will make it look 10 times better, but not... Yeah, I'll show you the problem. So there he goes, but he doesn't stop running, but it does work. So to make him stop running, we could do a keyboard no key. That's going to come into problems though when we start doing our combinations. Uh, for like you know you know what I mean by combinations. Like if you press like A and C at the same time, he'll like fire like a spear or something like that. Be creative, but so we're just gonna do key release. Right is just going to bring him back to his normal. His normal uh, stance. So him just facing right. Duplicate that. Q release left. Let me know if I'm going too fast for you guys. I'm trying to cram as much as I can into this tutorial. Uh, this is this should be pretty basic though. I'll explain it better in the later tutorials when I'm starting getting into AI and such. So here I am, he stops. So you have bas basic movement. So you got this far, congratulations. You, you are about 80% away through the movement engine part. Uh, we're gonna do jumping now. Jumping is a little, say a little harder. I need to go ahead and make a jumping sprite real quick. I will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and put in my jumping right and jumping left. It's not, it's just a normal little picture sprite. I didn't really make any animation since this is a tutorial, but you should put some animation into the jumping. So, believe it or not, jumping is very, well, it's not very hard, it just takes a lot of different, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It takes a lot of different, uh, there's like a different, a lot of combinations that can be done that can screw up, like, how, how he acts. So, but to just make him jump, all you need to do is put in speed vertical negative say 15 and he jumps now the problem is making the sprite follow your keys in the uh you'll see what i mean okay so uh yeah so basically he jumps we're also going to put jumping equals true and that'll make jumping equal true as we set in our previous. So, yeah, so here we go. So on the right, on the keyboard right, if you press right in the air, he might uh, change into the running sprite in midair. So what we need to do is we need to test variable jumping equals to false putting these things you don't need I don't think you need these but I just like it make it organized if jumping equals to false then he is going to run but else if it's true which means you press the up key since this is on the right keyboard sprite jumping right and that's that we're gonna do the same thing for the left side so jumping equals false Since this is on the left keyboard, JL and jumping left. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to finish up the jumping in part three. Yep. As you can see, he doesn't go back though. And in the air, if you let go of the left key, he goes back to his normal stance. 
So we'll go ahead and fix that in the next tutorial. Yep, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.